Here we go, and uh, we are going to have one last match for you guys. Uh, it seems that Reason finally got a, a new PC set up by Determined Admins. Uh, had some difficulties which uh, caused uh, quite, a, quite a delay. We do apologize for that, there's not a whole lot we can do about that. We are going to ready up for this match because uh, the knife round only happened just now. Uh, Isuga winning it and picking it high first. So, uh, looking forward to this map and <laughs> at last is, uh, is what they're saying in chat. You know, at last indeed, because uh, you know, we're going to need to get this last match started as well. This is Martin Mumbles representing H2K TV together here with Simon, aka Anti, at uh, the M Handwerp Esports Festival. And uh, let's take this way, first round away, Anti. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, so Hectic is uh, already moving up to the B bomb side. Uh, going to meet his first opponent there, sprays away. Not able to take Diablo down. He pretty much tagged him up heavily, but he's able to recover. Uh, back side of the house uh, next to the stairs. Meanwhile, Maserani is uh, closing up with the bomb, trying to uh, throw his precious nade. While well, Skywalker takes down Duffer with the SMG, making it a uh, three on five situation in favor of Izuba. Nero getting a lot of damage there, gets taken down by Hactic. Uh, able to plant the bomb uh, with just two reason players remaining. It's uh, Lighters and uh, Deepers. Deepers <laughs> already almost dead. I'm sorry. Uh, but Light is receiving the nasty shot by Maserani. So, uh, 4 on 1 situation gets shut down by Skywalker. First round goes to Izuba. Yeah, the DD combo. First to go down that round. And let's see. Of course, that's Soklon. Soklon with the. Uh, I'm assuming he's scoping. Soklon should always be scoping. I don't care what team he is on. Yep, Soklon with that scope. Looking through that smoke. There we go. Into the smoke. Firing 1, 2, 3. Nels got connect. Even with the 4th. Hectic though with a nice grenade onto Diablo uh, leaves just Duffer into D and D combo. Let's see if we can look him up. Duffer right now pushed off fast at A side, gets flashed. A lot of incoming spam. Skywalker with a kill on him and doing just and Nero. It's uh, it's we find him in time. There he is at that B side. He's in all kinds of trouble. Only Hectic down for the Super team and Asuba steamrolling so far. Skywalker gets the kill and two over the very early lead for the Asuba team. So off the spawn. Let's see if we can uh, find. There we go. Lucker. Lucker, we're gonna see uh, what he can get done with that scope. Again, the smoke comes on out, spamming one, two, nothing connects. Throwing out that nade there, hoping to connect with that, but no, Duffer though, Duffer this time opening up with a kill. Mazzarini answering right back on the Duffer though. My sack with the kill on Diablo, taking out a DD combo. Lighters with a double, getting the kill uh, with a grenade onto Hectic and then with the, the gun on the Mazzarini. Let's see, it leaves a two on three situation right now. Let's see if we can find My sack. Uh, Misak, sorry, uh, looking towards that B side, looking towards that bus. Uh, Soklan, that was a nice, a nice uh, scope shot. I'm assuming on the on the locker, leaving just Misak to, to to wrap this up. Rotating over towards that A side again. The, the bomb is down towards that B side, you know, towards that bus. It's in a terrible, terrible position because they know Soklan is strained on it. There we go. Spots one. Can he get it done? No. Cannot even get the kill on Nero. That's uh, unfortunate. Should have gotten the kill, should have gotten the, did get the jump on him, so uh, unfortunately for him, did not manage to pull through and 2-1, to one, reason to take the first round. Yeah, and again, Lucker trying to get some lucky shot off, misses the first one, uh, actually saw a glimpse of a player uh, model there as Skywalker takes down Duffer for the opening frag, uh, making it 4-5 uh, for uh, Izuba. Uh, replying by my sag and Nero taking out Lucker instead, uh, making a three on four situation. Players falling on both sides very quickly, while the situation is uh, cooling off a little bit. While uh, they're trying to make their way to the bomb spot B, which is currently unprotected. Skywalker taking down Lighter. So clone replying to Skywalker, taking him out with a deagle, making So clone the last remaining player for uh, reason. Actually able oh. to take one out with a nade, makes it only two left. Switches to the SMG. Did not connect there. On his right side, there's another player waiting to take him down. So he's in pretty much all kinds of trouble. Not able to even tag uh, Maysak, who's... Okay, it's Hactic standing there, able to tag him up, but Maysak closes the case and it puts the three on one on the scoreboard. I gotta say though, even in, you know, down in the three to one, Sokolan is playing so, so smart with that nade on the, the bomb, knowing it was gonna get planted, knowing he was gonna get a free kill out of that. And, uh, maybe even stop the plan it was just a little too late unfortunately for him and then you know even in the two-on-one situation he was so so smart about keeping pressure on both sides that you know the super player still did not feel comfortable actually uh, just pushing out and getting the kill on him 
They waited, had to wait for Sokolan to actually make a move and uh, and get it done. I think now with a, a nice car kill on the Diablo, let's see if we can follow Hector because he hasn't been getting too much action there. He's pushing on through to that B side and he actually sees his, uh, his teammates clear that out in front of him. Sokolan now, last man standing for reason, his reason is dropping one by one. Skywalker there actually jumping to his death after getting the kill on Nero. So oh, that was a very nice shot on Tamisa. Like, I didn't even see that happen. And no, there's a grenade. Is it going to land on uh, Mazzarini? No, too late. You know, though, uh, Sokwan, again, Sokwan can just stand up out in the open because he's so, so threatening to these uh, Asuba players that they can't really do anything. Now, finally, Mazzarini does shut him down and uh, collects yet another round for the Asuba team. 4 to 1. And it shows how, how that one, the dominant Sokwan is playing, even in his, uh, in, on the losing team so far. Yeah, it's. Uh absolutely a mark of a player if uh, three opponent players are afraid to go out on the open against you uh, because they know okay if I go out there alone I'm going to die and so Soklong takes down Skywalker Duffer applying a nice night there to Misak uh, opening up very nicely this uh, round for Reason Gaming we're actually in the five on three uh, advantage right now as Soklong is trying to find himself another worthy target uh, to put a bullet inside the head actually not able to find any of those uh, as the reason players are standing up uh, covering the bomb spots uh, Izuba already made their way uh, to the B bomb site with the B, uh, with the bombs strapped to Mazzarini again while uh, Duffer takes down Lucker making it 5 on 2 now very complicated situation for Izuba I doubt they will be able to plant that bomb in time Here we go, Hectic, last man standing right now for that Asuba team. Actually rushes past that B side and actually uh, is going to try to pick up that, uh, that bomb. It's in a tough situation here though, it looks like it's going to be another reason round. Soklan, of course, Soklan is, is the first one down for the reason squad, which uh, does weaken them quite a bit, but they still got that D&D combo, Duffer and Diablo being able to do a lot of damage. But no, it's Nero going down, uh, actually, uh, sorry, taking down the glory and uh, calling himself uh, the owner of that last frag in that round. 4-2 to score, Reason uh, put, you know, doing a little something back on uh, the defensive side. It's good to see uh, that they're trying to get something done, so let's see if we can follow Skywalker off the spawn. Oh, it runs into a, a nade from Lighters. Nice catch there. Actually, let's uh, look at Lighters. We haven't really looked at him too much. He actually tagged up pretty badly at that A site. Moving on forward very, very slowly. It seems like uh, Asuba is... Uh, they're doing a bit of a slow push, and uh, Lighters is uh, quite content just uh, moving on forward inch by inch. Lighters right now knows he's got he's trained on that, that wall right uh, you know right across from the bomb site right next to it. So he's gonna spam in as soon as he hears any kind of plant. Locker with a, a nice go on to Diablo there with a headshot. There we go, spamming a little smoke, there we go. Gets uh, the tax one up, uh tax actually with Mezzarino, but does not get anything done. Meanwhile, Mysec takes down Nero, that means that Lighter's cover is right now uh, well uh, weakened because there still is one player there for a reason. It was Soklan, but Soklan goes down to Lucker as well. Duffer now with the kill, and Lighters finally connecting on Mazzarini. That's what he was waiting for all that time. Leaving just Lucker at the last man standing for the Asuba team. Scoping in, and he does know exactly where his two uh, recent players are, and they're coming from the exact same direction. So, you know, is, he, is he in a, a bad situation? Yes. Is he in a hopeless situation? Definitely not. He just needs uh, one scope kill to get a one-on-one -on -one go, and then if he can get that bomb planted, and actually, time is in his favor. Actually, goes for a plan going into that bustle. Death don't do it. No one can, comes out alive. Oh, nice shot into Duffer there. Needs just the uh, lighters down as well. Eight seconds. Oh my god, out of time. Spamming in, going for the plant, hoping to get lucky, praying for it. Actually, cancels the plant. Trying to get a free kill, but no, it doesn't even matter. Lighters just uh, moves on in aggressively and gets uh, that round. You know, the time was uh, not on his side, and it worked against, it worked against him, and a 4 to 3 to score. Yeah, uh, Lighters is just a too far experienced player to just uh, hand that one out uh, to his opponent. He just he just played it cool, uh, stood away. He knew uh, he needed to plan, especially after the first fake. And then he was going in on the second one, uh, which apparently would have closely made it to the plan, but did not happen for uh, Izubo. And now Soklong trying to find a long range target somewhere around there. Yeah, Skywalker's uh, opening up against Duffer. Uh, Mazzarini again with the bomb, already very close to the B-bomb site. Uh, might expect some uh, covering spray fire as the uh, smoke screen goes up. Tries to fake plant, and it, of course a lot of uh, firing coming, but no nades yet. 
still more fire as uh, Hectic takes down Diablo. Uh, Skywalker applying to Lightus, but uh, Nero wants none of that, taking out uh, Skywalker to uh, at least uh, have a glimpse of a chance for Reason Gaming in that round. So Clone still trying to find the pawn in the somewhere around there. While uh, Nero is just... Uh, oh, yeah, we missed that one, sorry. Uh, Nero is still trying to defend the bomb side uh, from actually receiving a plant uh, by Mazzarini, who's uh, ninja, dif uh, ninja planting that bomb uh, without any problems, no nades, no spray fire. Uh, three on two situation with the bomb planted. This is not going the reason way, as he's uh, receiving a lot of fire in the housing area, and uh, the other players just uh, picked down Soclone and Mazzarini as well, taking down Nero. Yeah, go for the one-two there, Mazzarini. Uh, it's coming up big. Yeah, you know, I've always, you know, as soon as Mazzarini actually picks up that bomb, I've always wondered, you know, why, why Mazzarini? Isn't he much, uh, much better if you, if you give him more of an aggressive position? But you know, Suba, is, is, that's the way they use him, and uh, it works out quite well for him there. You know, just uh, it seems that Mazzarini is more of a kill getter than uh, you know, someone that uh, you should have um, planning a bomb. Yeah, actually, uh, he's pretty good on the close range, so I think this is why they use him there. Uh, so he can go in close on uh, opponents that are protecting the bomb side, like he's uh, just shown to uh, Diablo, like, this is my house and you're not going to go past here. Well, see, that, that's the thing, though. You know, playing that, that aggressive, that means that, uh, you know, it's likely it's, there, there's good odds that you do go down. And that bomb is in, in a bad, bad position, but uh, so far it's working out for them. Sokolan, last man standing in Lurker, just shuts him down. Plan not even needed by Masarini, 6-3 to three to score. And Asuba already guaranteed himself at least, uh, you know, at least a tie at the half. Uh, of course, you know, this is not exactly the most balanced map either, but um, I gotta say, Asuba is coming out strong. Yeah, the, they're definitely playing their A game against Reason, and that's exactly what you need to do. Uh, if those two big teams uh, meet up against each other already in the group stage uh, because you want to show we are here to win this uh, and uh, Hectic is showing exactly that he wants to win this uh, even if Diablo takes him down there and is able to uh, avoid the fire by uh, his opponent's team. So trying to get a glimpse on the bomb spot to uh, protect from the problem you said. Uh, Nero just shut down Mazzarini cold blooded and the bomb is uh, laying in a very very bad position for Izuba to pick up. And I gotta say I don't like Sokon's position here. I don't think he can get anything done. Needs to rotate out and does indeed rotate back towards the spawn. And this is a position you really want to see Sokolan in, where he can take those long range shots and then really make them count. Of course, Lurker, you know, still alive as well with that scope, so Sokolan does need to be careful. Can't just uh, walk on in as he pleases. Lurker actually picking up that bomb without too much contention. Lighters apparently wasn't able to, to apply any kind of pressure, and Sokolan did not have a shot. So right now, ooh, I, I think, I, I think Asuba really needs to go for, for at least a fake plan or get something done. Oh, did he miss the fake plan? Yeah. Fake, fake plants again and spots one. Fake plants again, don't, don't fake again. He needs to, he's getting himself in all kinds of trouble. And right now, a nade goes down. See, Lighters gets the kill there. I think easily given oh, away by Lucker. And a knife kill even by, by Sokolan Skywalker. I really think that Lucker should have gone for that second plant and should not have faked it again. Yeah, he did actually try to pull the nades uh, from his opponents which did not happen because they were playing it cool. I think uh, at least uh, Lightyear did not even have an 8 anymore. And now Sokolong trying to find something behind that smoke while Mizak finds Duffer and just uh, mows him down while Duffer's 8 suddenly finds Mazzarini, uh, killing him uh, in the nick of a second, even after his death. And Hectic uh, connecting to Diablo, uh, picked up the bomb and is uh, now approaching the B bomb site, which is uh, already protected. Uh, by some crossfire position by two reason players. Uh, while the uh, other Zuba players try to pressure the uh, other side, uh, the A bomb side, to uh, give uh, their player a, a bit of a time to get to the bomb spot. Hectic right now under a lot of fire from his opponent. The reason team knows that there is one there, but that, that's, you know, that, that edge there, that ledge is, is such a pain in the butt sometimes. There's no way to to get your way down there safely, and it uh, actually uh, puts you in a very, very vulnerable position. See, I mean, if you put yourself out there, then you're completely exposed and uh, could be in all kinds of trouble potentially. We do see that this teammate right now, Lucker, is actually covering that door as well. 
So uh, you see someone actually tries to come up there in trouble, but 25 seconds now, the clock is ticking them down and the bomb is going to get picked up at B. They can hear the bomb getting picked up and uh, they're going to head on in, up on these stairs. Oh, that was, uh, that was a bit sloppy there by the by the super team. Could have put up more of a fight there if they had uh, listened to the reason team coming on in. And 6-5, to five, reason team is uh, pulling quite a few rounds back and uh, might just tie it up at the half. Yeah, that would be exactly what we uh, expected to see because those teams are normally uh, pretty close to each other skill-wise. Uh, with Izuba being uh, the bit more aggressive part, uh, as Duffer is just mowing away on Izuba players and Nero also gets his piece of the cake. Uh, gets a bit of spray there by Hectic uh, taking him out. But the bomb is already uh, dropped at the bomb site. Lucky trying to uh, cover up his teammate there uh, up on the balcony while uh, Soclone is trying to get a good shot uh, on one of the two players. Uh, if he would actually know that the opponent player is up on the balcony, he would uh, have an easy time uh, reconfigurating his position and taking them out. But that's not going to happen. As Hectic is trying to find a way to get to that bomb safely and plant it. Actually decides not to plant it. Maybe he's uh, looking to go for A. But as Duffer shut down Lucker, uh, he's in a big big problems uh, now finding himself against three reason players uh, cyclone already shooting away at his position uh, at the bomb site he will be able to plan it but holding this uh, bomb site is another story gets tagged up already uh, and gets gonna shut down i gotta say that plan at least uh Gave, gave him a little hope, you know, it seems Reason wasn't completely merciless. To let him get the plant, but there it's the, the easy defuse and 6-6 six, six, tied at the half. And this is this is actually typical Reason. Reason is such a momentum-based team. And they'll, they'll go on long win streaks or long long, uh, long loss streaks on, uh, on, on maps. They just uh, lose a few rounds, win a few, and uh, keep that moment, keep that going. Yeah, but they were able to uh, get the comeback going. Uh, more exactly. and more, playing more and more comfortable, and uh, right now they're in a pretty good spot. And yeah, now we get to see uh, the, the super team try to put up a defense against this uh, nasty, nasty reason offense. Hectic already get down by Lydas uh, on the far range with the AK, as uh, Soclone is uh, still trying to find his pos optimal position uh, to cover his teammates, uh, who are actually approaching the A bomb site. And Mazzarini had a very good position but gets shut down by Diablo. Skywalker replying to Diablo, making it a 3 and 3 situation as Soclone is uh, picking up the bomb, trying to close in. Skywalker takes him out. Yeah, he's saying Chrome was blocked, so he was not able to stand up on time as uh, Mizak is taking out Nero, making light just a single lonely uh, reason player uh, that could initially at least plant the bomb for his team. As we switched on over to that lighters player, that last uh, man standing for uh, for reason, he knows that bomb's in a bad, bad position with an super player just lying right on there, and he gets spotted. Oh, Skywalker through the wall. His position was called, you know, a lot of uh, spam his way, and that is uh, the end of lighters. And a super, you know, at least gets himself uh, a lead. So uh, looking good for uh, the at least at the start of this half, they regained their lead after uh, you know losing it and uh, ending up in a tight situation. Oh, that's unfortunate there for Hectic. He should have kind of expected that uh, nade to come there, but Duffer with a 1-2 to before finally getting shot down by uh, a Skywalker. I was going to switch on over to him, but couldn't get it done in time. There we go, Lighters with the kill on uh, Skywalker answering right back, and it looks bad for Izuba this round. Lucker uh, is, is going to have to get something done big for his team. It's not uh, not holding a scope, it's uh, picked up a gun along the way, and oh, gets, almost. Uh, yeah, almost gets a shot off there. Gets a shot on Lighters now, and it's actually so glad I got the scope kill there. Spamming through that wall, he really needs to reposition right now because he's going to be in all kinds of trouble. Plant does go down and Nero showing no mercy. Killing Lucker before that bomb even got a, you know, more than a few seconds off. Yeah, the problem with Izuba is they're receiving a lot of damage by those early nades. Uh, even they received uh, two deaths in the last two rounds, which is very unfortunate uh, to take a player down that early on this map. So close, nice headshot into the smoke, but Mazzarini and Lucker uh, evening the odds for Izuba, even one man advantage right now. Uh, looking to uh, secure the B bomb site, uh, which apparently has the bomb carrier at it. While uh, Hectic is trying to get a closer look onto the B bomb site, 
uh, covering up a very nicely. Uh, the two uh, recent players on the B-bomb side currently not having any chance of getting close to that side. So Klong taking out Skywalker to even the odds. Uh, this might be the opportunity for Nero to actually plant that bomb. Yeah, that's a huge, huge kill by Sokolan to actually even it up, but no, oh, Lighters goes down, and Sokolan takes a lot of incoming fire. We're going to switch it over to him, see if he can get anything done there. At least manages to regain his health and cover Nero. It's uh, a fake plan going down right there, and, uh, and none of these two players really bite. A lot of spool spam because they know that, hey, you know, sooner or later, you're going to have to come out there. So, uh... So... Okay. An 8-7 to score. Yeah, pretty uh, standard going uh, still. As uh, this time the uh, early nades do not connect. Meanwhile, Mazzarini is taking out Duffer in the close quarter file. Nero also receiving a lot of damage from the middle house there. Uh, they're pretty much cut off uh, both sides. As Soplon finds Lucker, but very nice car explosion there. Triggered by Skywalker taking out Soplon in return. And now the reason players really have problems to get to the bomb site. Hectic taking down Nero, making a 4 on 2 situation. The bomb is already uh, laying down there next to the B bomb site, picked up by Diablo, uh, who's having enough time to maybe even opt uh, for going to A. But he will tr have to cross the street, tries the fake plan onto the B bomb site to maybe draw one or two frag grenades does not receive any frag grenades, not even spray fire, so he's able to plant the bomb. No, he's not. Gets sprayed down as Lydus is the last remaining player for Reason Gaming. Uh, just uh, decides to uh, back up and try again. Actually coming up huge there with uh, several kills in this round. It's, uh, it's three, I do believe, and uh, my sec though. Finishing it off by uh, taking out Lighters. Lighters in a terrible position, wasn't going to get anything done there regardless. So it was just a uh, technicality, and that does give Ixuba a, a 9 to 7 lead. Let's see, off the spawn, we're going to follow. Choo -choo. Let's follow Soklan. See if we can get an early scope. Oh, could have gotten a shot that and does. Let's get the shots on Lucker, actually. Let's scope on scope. That's a huge, huge kill. And Mezzarini goes down to the nade by Diablo. Diablo going for a second kill as well. See if we can follow Diablo. Diablo, oh, goes down to Mysek there. Meanwhile, Dufford, and let's go for the other half of the DD combo. Spamming into that building uh, is not going to find anyone there. Oh, actually, there is my sec there, who does get uh, tagged up a little, but I don't believe it's uh, by, by Duffer's Fire. Let's follow it up, to, switching it up to my sec. He is that last man standing for the super team right now. Oh, spots one, but Duffer with the deagle. Just, uh, just standing strong. 8-9 to nine to score. Asuba just a one-run lead so far, but a very, very close match. Yeah, both uh, teams going up strong. Izuba struggling just a little bit uh, in the end of each round, uh, having problems with those closing kills and uh, received too much damage. Uh, uh, the damage by the early nades has been uh, shut down already. Uh, through better running as uh, Diablo finds Misak, uh, picking him up. Skywalker directly replying to Duffer. As Mazarini is moving in, taking down So Clone, so very good position for Izuba. As there's only two players left. Nice, nice. Eagle going there against Nero and Diablo down as well to Hectic, so making it 10 to 8. See, that's how I like to see Mazarini play, just rushing on in there and getting it done. You know, this, uh, with, with that jump, it's, it's kind of an awkward shot to take, and he just uh, showed us well there, no problem, no sweat. You know, I, I'm a pro here. I know what I'm doing, that's not a hard shot for me. Let's see, Hectic right now taking a near the grenade hit. Switching out to Mysek, Mysek uh, trying to get anything done, but then uh, backing away with, uh, for the early nades. Duffer and Diablo, the D&D combo, both taking a kill to their name. Let's see, Duffer right here. Duffer looking across that road is uh, probably not going to spot anyone from this position. Oh, it does actually spot one. Uh, I didn't think anyone would be uh, heading in there, but uh, it seems that that's my sex favorite spot. Lucky now with the kill on Soklon, but Lucky now last man standing is Duffer gets yet another kill, and Diablo with a deagle apparently onto, onto Lucky. Didn't get to see that unfortunately, and 10 to 9 is score. One round apart, the Soba still in a, in a slow, slow lead. Yeah, Reason is using their uh, double D tactic, if, if you want to call it like that, very well. Uh, with those two SMGs moving forward very fastly. Diablo receiving some damage, but Nero cuts down Mazzarini already. He was going for a offensive push. Mizak finding Nero and Diablo uh, returning the favor to Mizak. As Diablo as well finds Hectic, so he's going strong right now for his team. 
uh, picking up very important frags. The B-bomb site is completely open uh, to any nade. Lucker already receiving some tags there. Needs to recover. Actually, Skywalker jumping down from the rooftop, taking down Diablo while Duffer just uh, cuts him down from behind. And Lucker, the last uh, remaining player for Izuba, gets shot down by So Clone Seagull. And uh, it might be me, but I think the D&D combo is actually doing much, much better than they were in the first half of this, uh, this match. I so we're going to follow Diablo off the spawn, see if we can get anything done. Uh, I actually prefer to call them the double D. It uh, doesn't matter. I don't, I don't want to make any innuendo references. It's uh, Our audience has preferred it enough. But off the spawn, let's see. Look at how aggr aggressive he just dares to be because he knows that smoke is there. He's like, hey, you can't see me anyway. I'm just going to walk on in there. Duffer and Diablo both going to kill Diablo with yet another kill. Luckard with a kill on Sokolan though, that means the scope for uh, for a reason is down. It, it seems the Suba is winning the, the scope battles, but it's just uh, the, the Duffer and Diablo. Uh, Diablo three kills to his name, uh, to, uh, to that round to his name, and that, that's the difference right now, and that gives reason the lead. 11 to 10 right here. Yeah, they're going pretty huge for their team, and that's exactly what you want to have. Oh. You want to have players that can carry it, but this time, Lucker was on the spot shooting Diablo right while he was moving it, uh, to advance to the opponents and Skywalker shooting down Duffer. This is not looking good for reason. Those were the two players who actually caused the last uh, two round wins for Reason Gaming as uh, they were moving up so offensively but this time uh, Izuba was smell, uh, did smell what the rock was cooking so uh, did shut them down but Nero already at the bomb spot uh, trying going for the fake bomb plant, but Mazzarini wants none of that going in offensive taking him down Close quarter battle uh, Mazzarini taking down Soklon for the 11th round for Izuba I don't care who you are, but you do not want to get into a close quarter fight with Mazzarini He is such a such a vicious player to meet in, in, in any kind of close building Let's See if you can actually follow him Mazzarini There we go Found him. He's actually backing on up towards the spawn to get a set nade off there does it connect on anyone? No, and uh, through the smoke they do go. Seems that reason this time wasn't offensive, but oh, he tag it must really tagged up uh, a little bit. And then needs to run for his life, but cannot uh, recover at all. Diablo and Duffer getting kills to their name. And this is, uh, you, know, you know, at least you know you don't get a loss if you win this round here. And Diablo is, uh, is coming up huge. Lucker out <laughs> right now, last man standing, but Lucker can't get anything done either. Duffer uh, gets to go on him in 12-11. That means match point situation for reason right here. Let's see if uh, let's see if we can see Soklan right off that spawn. Because I want to see if he can get that opening kill. If he gets that opening kill, that's going to mean uh, this will very well mean the difference between a, a tie and a win for a reason team. Is he going to get? No, does not spot it. Going to try again. One, two, no. No shots available for him. We're going to switch on over. And there we see a super, uh, a super Mazzarini. actually uh, playing very well and mowing down Diablo as he's trying to be aggressive. That means that Marini, Mazzarini is going to be given away though. He needs to be very careful right here. Moving on in. Yeah, this Nero shutting him down. You know, took over the position. Diablo called the position. And uh, that's perfect teamwork right there. Walker right now looking towards that uh, side. Apparently he spots him. Oh! Oh, that's an expensive, expensive miss. If he had gotten that shot, that would have been quite, quite huge. Lighters now with the, the, the grenade onto my second. Oh, so clean with the kill on Locker, and I think that might be all she wrote for the Suba team. My set goes on down by Soklan as well. Right now it's all up the hectic. Can he get it done? Gets one, gets two, two more, two more hectic. Can you get it done? Explosives does go, do go down. The clock now is, is ticking against them. Oh come on, can you get it done? One time, one time hectic. Let's uh, let's make some magic happen. Get your uh, get your <laughs> get your team a tie. No. Lighter says, no you don't, and mows him down in 13 to 11, that was well, well played by both teams. Reason only able to get a win out uh, out of the fire there at the last, last moment. And that said, I, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that match, uh, I sure did, I think that's a great, great match to close on out. So, Anthony, do you have any last words? Uh, I would like to say <laughs> thank you to all the people supporting us, uh, of course your viewers, because without you it would not be possible, or I would just talk with myself. Uh, and the screen instead of talking to you and I would like to uh, thank Marty who actually was so friendly to invite me over to do all this casting stuff with him I, I gotta say he's full of himself he talks to himself all the time he's that he's just that crazy <laughs> yeah but I prefer to talk to other people I see well that said this is Marty Mumbles representing H2K TV live at the Antwerp Esports Festival I hope you guys are having a good time back uh, at home we're gonna tune you guys out to some music before cutting the stream but uh you know, that said, that is going to be the last match for tonight. 
Unfortunately, uh, you know, with this DJ, it's just not feasible to do more matches. Unfortunately, uh, that's uh, something you need to, to look at the event organizers. There's not a whole lot we can do about that. So we are sorry for that. Uh, regardless, we're going to be back tomorrow with more action. You know, so don't uh, don't be a stranger. Come right back tomorrow. We will give you more COD4 action as much as you can handle. Martin.